All right, so we have road tested literally dozens of bike racks here at the MAG, and I can confidently say we've finally found the ultimate horizontal style bike rack. This is the Yakima Stage 2, and it is absolutely loaded with features that make traveling with your bike super easy, loading the bikes on and off, and also security. We're gonna get into all of the features soon. There's heaps I love about this rack, and as I said, I reckon this is the best rack on the market right now for a number of reasons. All right, so the Stage 2 rack obviously carries two bikes as it's written on the packet, but one of the cool things about this rack is you can actually get an additional two stack slots in the end there if you wanted to carry four bikes. For me, two bikes is ultimate. Get the bikes to the trails. I've got the, you know, the wife's road bike of mine on there if we're going to hit the road. Um, super versatile. And one of the cool things about this rack, it carries bikes of all different shapes and sizes. Um, you got BMXs, mountain bikes, even road bikes. Don't need any aftermarket attachments. They all just slot right in and they're held snugly in place. Um, but probably the thing I love most, and it really suits my lifestyle, um, as you know, the best trails generally aren't on a nice smooth road. The off-road, this rack, off-road rated. Um, it's got a massive payload as well. 27 kilos per bike you can have. Um, so that means you can easily get e-bikes on here. Now keep in mind though, if you do go off-road, that payload does decrease down to 16 kilos. Um, so then you're probably not gonna get your e-bikes on the back for going off-road. But that said, the fact that Yakima stand by this rack uh, and to build it durable and tough enough to take off-road speaks volumes. Um, and it really just goes to show the quality of this rack. Uh, it's just, it's off the charts. All right, one of the things I really like about the Stage 2 rack and I really don't like about a lot of other racks is the bikes are spaced nice and wide apart on this rack here. Often the bikes are kind of too close together, jammed in. You gotta offset them. Um, me, I'm a got big guy, you know, I ride XL bikes. Um, this bike rack handles large bikes, keeps them nicely spaced apart. The bikes are actually held securely in place without any frame contact whatsoever. So if you've got, you know, your expensive carbon wheels, um, or you don't want to have any like interference or any possibility of the bikes tapping together, this is a perfect rack. You'll also notice it's got an ascending tray design. So essentially the outside bike is, is, is positioned higher. So again, it creates more of a buffer zone between the bikes. Um, it's zero chance the bikes are going to collect into each other when you're driving along, even on long roads, even off roads. So absolutely love that. All right, functionality is the name of the game when it comes to stage two rack. If the rack features an awesome tilt function, it obviously it, it folds away when the bike's on, I'll show you that later, but also has a tilt down function. So when you've got the bikes on the rack, you can still access the rear of the vehicle. And one of the things I like most about the tilt function is it's all handled right here from a lever at the end of the rack, super user friendly. A lot of racks to use a tilt function, you've got to kind of get in between, between the vehicle and the bikes. You're gonna get dirty, you're gonna get squished. Um, and it's not very kind of user friendly. But this rack right here, literally just bang, down come the bikes, fully laden, don't need to take them off. And we can access the rear of the car or the ute in this example, and there's zero chance anything's gonna to get touched. Your bikes are super safe, full access, grab your riding gear out, peace of mind. And then when you wanna get the bikes back up, ready to roll, literally just lift them up, ready to go. All right, so loading and unloading the bikes is an absolute piece of cake with this rack. It's literally just a quick racket system there. Again, ratchet system there. Roll it forward and bike is off, ready to roll. Bikes are off the rack. Just simply pack the rack away. The stone when you're not carrying bikes, literally put the cradle arms up, lift her up, in place, bang, ready to roll. So another thing I love about the stage two is that you don't even need to remove it from your vehicle. It folds away nice and compact with the rear of the car. Um, I've literally had this rack on my car now for a couple of months and I haven't even removed it once. Um, I use it a few times a week and when I'm not using it, it's just stored super easily. Now, if you do want to remove this rack, this is another thing I absolutely love about this rack and it's really unique. Yakima have killed the design of this, I'd say. It's got this super user-friendly speed dial down here which essentially has a wedge internally, and that's what holds the whole rack in place and makes it super quick to remove the rack and put it in the garage or wherever you want when you don't want to have it on the rear vehicle. So let's say you do want to remove the rack. All you do, remove the safety pin, big speed dial here, unwind it half dozen times, and basically there's a big wedge clamp inside there that um, decompresses, and the rack just slides straight off, chuck in the garage, perfect. All right, we want to load the rack now. We simply pull it down. We're going to go two bikes, out come the arms, decompress ratchet, decompress ratchet, chuck the bikes on, 
As always, put your heaviest bike closest to the rack. Front wheel goes in the wheel cradle there. Big lever comes up, down it comes. Body weight on there, nothing too hard at all. Rear ratchet. Done, bike's held in place, no frame contact. What'd that take, about three and a half seconds? Perfect. All right, now news flash. Bikes are expensive and thieves love to steal them. This rack has a bunch of security features built into the rack. They aren't aftermarket accessories and I really love that. Now, one of the key features with that speed dial that we showed you before is that it locks to the vehicle. That comes with the rack as stand, it's not an aftermarket. So essentially, the rack's locked to the vehicle and then we want to be able to lock the bikes to the rack. Now there's two ways the Yakima achieves security of the bikes when they're actually on the rack to prevent thieves from wanting to nab them. Now, at the top of each of the, um, the wheel secures here, we've got these cables. You need to put it through the wheel or through the fork. Um, and again, and just lock that in place. Do that to both bikes. And then a secondary system that they've got is this big chunk of piece of steel here on top of the steel high quality frame. And what you can do is get an aftermarket cable lock or a chain through here, through the bikes, and that's gonna keep your bikes another level of security on top. So heaps of security features in here. And in today's climate, that's probably a nice little peace of mind, especially when you're investing in a high quality rack and you've got your pride and joy bolted on the back of it. Now, if there is one slight drawback about the Yakima Stage 2 rack is that it doesn't have auxiliary number plate mounting as stock. However, Yakima does have a range of auxiliary solutions. Um, this is called the Lightmate. It's brilliant. It plugs right into your AUX um, and allows you to have your auxiliary number plate right there with your lights. And you simply clip that to the bikes or to the rack itself. Great solution. They've also got Plate Mate, which is essentially this, but a much smaller version, holds the number plate, doesn't have the lights. Um, you can pick those up uh, online or from your local Yakima dealer.